Hi friends, it's Gwen. Today I'm going to be doing a review of The Organic Artist by Nick Nito. Um, I said in my resolutions video that I wanted to do more reviews, so I thought I would go ahead and kick it off with the last book that I read in 2014. I read it right before midnight, and I actually got this book for, re for free from Idlewise, and I wanted to go ahead and share with you my strategy for helping me do more reviews. It's pretty simple. I have this little indexy card holder. Um, it just has a ring and it has index cards in it. Um, but for every book that I read, I'm going to write the title and the author. And they're just little notes that I have about the book. Uh, I feel like if I have notes about how I'm feeling as I'm reading through it or different little things that I want to say, then this will help me, you know, once I'm finished. And if I don't film the video right away, then I will still have my thoughts fresh in my mind. So that is my tip for doing more reviews this year for myself. Maybe it will help you out, I don't know. So I made my little card for this book. Um, as you can see, it has the title and the name and all of that. I did get this for free from Idlewise to review it. This book comes out in January of 2015, I think the 20th, and it's coming out in paperback form. And even though I got it for free and I have it as an ebook, I think I wanna go ahead and just pick it up in paperback form as well. So I added it to the wish list because I enjoyed it that much. I did look it up on a couple of sources to see how much it was. So I looked up three different sources. Amazon priced it at $17, the release date of January 15th, and Book Depository has it for $13.97, but their release date is listed as June of 2015, well, I think they meant January of 2015. And then Barnes & Noble has it listed at 1734 and their release date is also January 15th. So I believe it's gonna be January 15th that this book is released in paperback form. And for $17 and the content that you get, if you're an artist of any type and you wanna you know, go back to a more organic form of artistry, making your own materials, this book is definitely for you. I highly recommend it. So, Basically, the author really encourages artists to go back and make their own materials to use in their artwork, and he does so through step-by-step -step instructions that are super easy to follow. He calls them, you know, like in their recipe form, and it really kind of is because he tells you the tools and the materials and, you know, everything that you'll need, and he just, step one this is what you do and he has pictures that go along with it he encourages artists to return to the days of using all natural materials and one person um, I think it was on Amazon had quoted says he takes the reader on a magical journey as he collects and crafts from organic materials and I absolutely agree with that if you love Instagram you will love the pictures in this book they are just so clean and simple and beautiful and helpful I just oh, I was it was like an Instagram magazine basically for me I just loved it that much it has beautiful pictures step-by-step -step instructions tips and tricks as you go along the way and just he starts with like easy recipes like pretty simple recipes and then he gets more involved he'll start with like making charcoal and he does like oh here's the easiest way to get charcoal and then he kind of oh if you want to you know bump it up a notch here's you know more recipes and you know tricks that can make even better or more and it just is awesome some of the things that are included in this book is how to make charcoal how to make pens ink paper he covers it all and again super easy recipes if you have some time if you live in a nature -y area um, if you go on hikes if you are more into being green and organic and you love art this is a book to pick up step by step so easy all the illustrations in the book and I am going to find some to post here because they are just amazing um, one or two his illustrations in the book are all created by him it's all of his artwork that he has made with the um, art supplies tools and materials he made himself amazing very talented and he encourages experimentation and plays playfulness love that um, I can't praise this book enough I gave it five out of five stars 
It's only 160 pages, but it is just full to the brim with amazing art, great pictures, easy step-by-step -step recipes, and again, I highly recommend you pick it up. So I really can't praise this book enough. It was really amazing. I'm happy that I did this type of book for my last book of 2014, and I just, I can't wait to get it in paperback and add it to my collection. My sorority sister is also a huge artist, and I would really like to get her this book as well. I just think that anybody that loves art would love it. I'm gonna link the links down in the description box, so check it out. Really beautiful. And yeah, I think that wraps it up. So I hope you have enjoyed this review of The Organic Artist by Nick Netto. I'll see you next time. Bye. This is the book. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. It's kind of reflecty, but The Organic Artist by Nick Netto. Um, hmm, that is really difficult.